Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Platinum God Games here, bringing you a series of short videos to accompany my main The Last of Us 2 Grounded Permadeath Strategy Guide videos. In this series of videos, I'll be showing you a few things you didn't know about The Last of Us 2, including alternative locations for weapons, items, holsters, and training manuals. Throughout my complete Ellie Day 1 main video, in certain locations you hear me say, I'll show you that in another video. Well, here they are. The focus of this video is last round the camouflage issue, also known as the stealth training manual. This is one of two branches in the skills tree that I max out during my permadeath runs. The first step is learning to craft silences. It will cost you a full cloth and a full canister and will break after two shots, but it is vital not only as a backup in case things go wrong, but also as a stepping stone to get to other skills we need. The next upgrade is faster prone movement. Now this is absolutely vital to many of my strategies throughout the entire game, and it takes your prone movement from this slow, painful, almost frustrating movement to being able to move at almost double the speed, allowing you to perform such stealth strategies here and through here in Hillcrest. The next is crafting four shot silences. Now this will cost you the same amount with the cloth and the canister but of course you'll get four shots out of it, which comes in very, very handy, especially if your strategies fail in different areas. This game has a funny way of making the enemies dodge just before you fire the weapon or when you line up a headshot, so the miss factor is an always present possibility. Now, last but certainly not least within the stealth branch is faster stealth kills. Now this comes in so handy, especially if you have to escape into cover and you have to start picking the enemies off one by one. Ellie's original stealth knife kill is slow and takes forever seemingly when you're in a hurry. It turns into a very efficient slice and stab motion, dealing with the enemy quite quickly and even quicker with infected. So, down to business. The first location, what I call the most common location for this to be found, is at Channel 13 television station. Now, it is almost unmissable. That's why it is the most common location for it to be found. So, I'm gonna show you where that is now. So here we are at Channel 13 television station. Now, make your way upstairs to the second floor. Gather up a few items down here, then head up the stairs. Now the boardroom opposite the stairs is where you will find the stealth training manual on the boardroom table here. Location one. So the second location is actually before Channel 13 over in Capitol Hill. Now this one is a little trickier to obtain and I bypass this during my permadeath runs. So I'll play all of this in fast forward, show you how to stealth it past the first encounter here with the people in the dry cleaners. That's when we're going to start making a detour from where I ordinarily would go down. So let's stop it right here. I normally go forwards and to the right down the stairs, but for this training manual, we're gonna hang a left. Now there's two people in the background that we need to keep an eye on. We normally don't have any problem with these two. Ordinarily, we would bypass them. They won't even see us as we go down those stairs over there. Now we're going to have an encounter with them. So you can sneak up to the basketball court up there down the right hand side through the grass that you can see in the middle of the screen there. I choose to wait behind this car and wait until they come to me. Dina will or should take out the second one once you grab the first. 
So as usual, we have to fight Dina or put up with her taking up the space where you want to occupy. Try and get around behind this girl as quick as possible. Now he will turn to his left when he begins to move again. So when you grab her, move around to the right behind him further. So hopefully Dina will get there and she only just got there in this occasion. Now we need to make our way to the bookstore cafe. Now the upper section of Capitol Hill here only has 13 pills for upgrades. So I bypass this ordinarily because it's an unnecessary risk. All right, now we're in the cafe, drop to prone so you don't alert the two runners and the clicker that are in the toilet area off to our right now. There's also some canister to your left at the end of the counter should you want it. So I hope you enjoyed the video and found it helpful. Don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons and check that bell alert so you get notified the next time a video goes live. Also, if you have any questions, chuck them into the comments below. And here we have the alternate location of the stealth training manual. Now the good part about this is that you can actually make your way back to those stairs that I pointed out earlier where I ordinarily go through and resume the regular strategy. I'm Platinum God Games and until next time, game like a god.